We're going to get started on redox reactions by learning how to assign oxidation numbers. This is just something that you do so you can figure out what's happening, happening in the reaction. Um, they involve a transfer of electrons and um, anyway we, see, we assign numbers in order to figure out where the electrons are going. Sometimes people confuse these with charges and in some cases they are the same thing as a charge um, but in some cases these numbers are assigned to covalent compounds that don't have ionic charges um, just to kind of keep track of things. Anyway, um, let's just start by learning our rules for assigning oxidation numbers. Okay, so for now it's just a little game. We'll assign these numbers and then later we'll see how to, to use them. So the first rule, and this takes precedent over all the other rules, if an atom is in its elemental form, in other words, it's just that one element, even if it's diatomic like this, the oxidation number is zero for each of those atoms. Next rule, if you have a monoatomic ion, so one atom, not polyatomic, one atom, and it has a charge, then the oxidation number is the same thing as the charge. Okay, then a few elements that we need to just memorize. The oxidation is minus two for oxygen, The oxidation number is plus one for hydrogen. Okay, and then uh, for the halogens, it's minus one, but unless it's bonded to oxygen um, or a halogen above, in other words, uh, like if chlorine is bonded to fluorine, which is above it, then it may not be minus one. It is minus one uh, for fluorine always, and other ones are minus one unless they're bonded to something above them or oxygen. And oxygen is the common one because we know all of those polyatomic ions like chlorate. Um, in this case, this chlorine will not be minus one, it's bonded to oxygen, and we'll, we'll have to see what to do with those. Okay, so those are the rules for individual atoms. We need two rules for the whole thing. Uh, the sum of the oxidation numbers in a compound, this is a neutral compound, they must add up to zero overall. And for a polyatomic ion, they add up to the charge of the ion. Before we get going through the examples, I want to show you um, how I'm going to write these. Um, so let me just put one up. And then I'll explain the parts. Okay, so here's my compound. The numbers above are the oxidation numbers. And um, those are our answers we're looking for. Notice that they're not off to the right like a charge would be. They're directly over the atom. These numbers down below, this is just um, me adding up. In other words, um, this is just my work down here. It's not the answers. Um, so let's look at what this means. So each oxygen here has an oxidation number of minus two, and there's only one atom, so that's why I have a minus two here. Oxygen gives me minus two total. On the hydrogen though, when I'm adding them up, I need plus one times two, so there's a plus two here. Okay, so that's how I'm adding them up for all the atoms. And then, um, remember how we said the oxidation numbers in a compound must add up to zero. So I've got my zero out here and I added it up and sure enough, they add up to zero. Okay, anyway, that's how I write them. I don't know that everybody does their math below like I do, but I find it pretty convenient. So let's look at a few of these. What about the oxidation number on this bromine? 
we have a rule for bromine. Um, you know, you might look at our halogen rule, but the rule that takes precedent, precedent is that this is an element by itself. It doesn't matter that it's diatomic, its oxidation number is zero. Next one. So we're looking at a neutral compound, um, and which element do we have a rule for? We have a rule for hydrogen. Its oxidation number is plus one. Now carbon we don't have a rule for, but we know that they're going to add up to zero because this is a neutral compound. So just doing my math, I know that one times four is plus four for the hydrogen. So what must be the oxidation number of the carbon? It must be minus four in order for that to add up. Okay, let's try the next one. Do I have a rule for either of these um, elements? I do, oxygen is minus two. On this one, what will all the numbers add up to? Minus one, because this is a polyatomic ion and the oxidation numbers will add up to the charge of the polyatomic ion. So I look and see what, nit what oxygen contributed for oxygen. They add up to minus two times three minus six. And so what must my nitrogen be? Remember, I'm not, it's not plus six because I'm at, not adding to zero. There, it needs to sum to minus one. So nitrogen must be plus five. Let's try some more. You can pause and work it on your own first and see how you do. On this one, I've got a compound. I know two elements. Oxygen is minus two, hydrogen is plus one. On this one, the oxidation numbers will add up to zero. This isn't, it doesn't matter that it has a polyatomic ion. Overall, it's neutral. Then I look at the numbers that I have. Negative two times four is negative eight. So the total oxidation number from oxygen is minus eight. I don't know about sulfur, hydrogen, it's plus one times two, so it's plus two. So what must my sulfur be? It must be plus six. Next one, what elements do I have rules for? I have a rule for hydrogen, it's plus one. A rule for oxygen, it's minus two. I know that these will, all of them will add up to zero. Again, this is a neutral compound, so it adds up to zero. I go through each one. Oxygen is minus two times four, minus eight. Phosphorus I don't know yet. Hydrogen is plus three. So what must phosphorus be? Plus five. Okay, this looks like chlorite. On this one, I know oxygen is minus two. I know that these numbers will add up to negative one from this charge. If it's a polyatomic ion, the the uh, sum of the oxidation numbers will give you the charge of the polyatomic ion, not a neutral compound. And chlorine, I don't know, because remember the rule for chlorine is that it's minus one unless it's bonded to a halogen over it or if it's bonded to, hyd to oxygen. So this one's bonded to oxygen. So I'll go ahead and do oxygen. Oxygen is minus two times two is minus four. So what must chlorine be in this case? want them to add up to minus one, so it must be a plus three. 